waiting with my Sprite sitting over here in the corner, my cr crunchy Sprite. I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. Let's see what God, angels, and universe has in store for you, Leo. Ah, just as a reminder, my readings are closed until May 3rd. Thank you so much for your understanding and cooperation. Conversations. Wanting to work on something, working something out. <clears throat> what is going on with those last three cards? Judgment. This card has been coming up all afternoon. <sighs> I'm hearing making your intentions known on whether or not you want to work, work on this. Whether or not you want me. If so, what are you prepared to do if I give you another chance and then you'll make your decision? That is one storyline. Let's see what the clarifiers will say. Yes, Pentacles, Queen of Cups. Oh, you got two queens on the table. What is going on? trying to do a subdivision on this these ATVs. Okay, so you got two queens facing. Do I have any indi indication that it's a third party? We got the three of pentacles here. Um, they, we don't have any matching suits. You got the knight of wands and a queen of wands. So probably the queen of cups and the and, uh, uh, king of pentacles, which is my divine partnership. Oh, angels just said this is a, the evolution of a relationship. This is Leo. So, is this your current relationship, the Queen of Queen of Wands and the Page, the Knight of Wands, and you guys are trying to get to the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups, right? As in that married couple, that happily ever after, that mature, level-headed, balanced couple, right? Do you feel like somebody wants to have conversations about longevity and? You know, what is this going to be? And, you know, are we going to be together? And, you know, um, I feel like somebody is having plenty of conversations about their intentions, especially long-term intentions, right? Seven of Pentacles and Three of Pentacles. Well, there it is right there, you know, kind of coming together as a group, a team, a couple or whomever um, to talk about, you know, how are we going to make this work, right? Um you know, your, your, hmm, I'm trying to figure out if this is a third party or if that is two different sides of one person. And I feel like that's two different people. It's almost like, here's who I need you to be, but here's who you are, right? I need you to be more loving and supportive and encouraging and nurturing and things of that nature. But you who hot with the hot with the mouth and fiery and be cursing me out and, you know, and it's like, you know, I want that to change because that's a red flag for me. You know what I mean? And if you want us to be able to move on, I need a commitment from you that you're going to go ahead and make the necessary changes to um, become somebody who I can count on, especially emotionally is what I'm hearing. Okay. You have the Knight of Wands here with the um, Judgment. You know, the night is back and forth, is committal. You know, I feel like to an extent, maybe Leo, you are this per this is your dominant side. And this is like your um, recessive or, you know, the minority side about you. You know what I mean? As in your person could want more love in order to be, to be able to build with you and grow with you. But to an extent, you know, Leo, you could be presenting more as that fiery, hot, bitchy queen, okay? You know, she usually gets what she wants, but also at the same time, that wand energy is prone to throwing tantrums, okay? When they don't get what they want, they get angry a lot, and they start getting um, passive-aggressive and, you know, shooting off at the mouth and blah, blah, blah. And I feel like that's the toxicity in this relationship that somebody may be trying to change. Definitely with this King of Pentacles, I mean, he ain't hot and fiery, and, you know, he's trustworthy and honest, and... You can believe him. He's an authority. He's your know, dad. He's the head of household. 
you know, you can believe him. You know, also, I'm also hearing your foolish desires. You know, it's almost like some of you guys are rebelling or resisting against um, authority. That whomever is being the authority in this relationship, someone else is resisting. Just a quick note. I am referring to the top energy is you, Leo. Bottom energy is your person. Yes, it can be flip-flopped. Okay? So you may be the one who's like, listen, I need you to calm that shit down. And your person is just hot, fiery, and all over the place. I just hear a lot of resistance. A lot of resistance here. A lot of toxicity. A lot of manipulation. A lot of um, um, passive-aggressive arguing. Name-calling. It's almost like, you know, when you're good, you're great, you're wonderful, you're beautiful. When you're bad, I don't want to have nothing to do with you. Okay, let's see what your clarifiers say, Leah. Whew, yeah. I also feel like this King of Pentacles feels like he can't talk to you sometimes because maybe because of the erratic behavior. It's almost like you take everything I say to heart and then you get disappointed and then you turn into, that's where the toxicity comes from. You get really erratic. Your behavior becomes really erratic and the freaking whole relationship just goes right out the window. Star card, Aquarius. Um, that to me is saying focus on what it is that you want and whatever it is that you want, I think you need to commit and agree to work on. It's like, what's the ultimate goal here is what I'm hearing. Ooh, page of swords. Yeah, that's that immature communication. That whole 21 questions and nagging and, you know, um, I feel like that's the difference between this one queen and this other queen is the immature communication, right? Then we have heal, five of pentacles, yeah. When you say shit, when you do shit, when you curse me out and you start name calling, you know, that makes me not want to be with you. That makes me want to leave. You know, that makes me not want to try at this anymore. Page of Wands. They're looking for some sort of uh, commitment from you. You got the page, you got the knight, and you got the queen. So you got male and female energy. You're female, you're nasty, you're cursing out, and then you get aggressive and you just start saying shit that, you know, out of your mouth. It's almost like you start talking to me like I'm not somebody you love, which is crazy. Your person is looking for you to basically balance this out. Or again, Leo, flipping it, you're looking for your person to balance out. There's too much hot, fiery energy in this relationship. I mean, you got all these wands with the devil, right? You got the emperor here, which is authority and power, right? Um, it feels like this situation and relationship, again, could be imbalanced because there could be a power struggle, right? Whomever the authority figures are, as in the one calling the shots, the one making the decisions, you know, whomever, I mean, it should be mutual, right? But I feel like the imbalance is because one person maybe acts like a child and the other one has to kind of come in and act like a parent. One thing I just kind of noticed too here is that you had the page of swords opening and page of wands closing, right? So it just kind of feels like, you know, there's a back and forth with communication, behavior, you know, a roller coaster affair. I don't want to be with you. I want to be with you. I don't want to be with you. I want to be. It's just a whole bunch of back and forth that somebody is trying to level out. But I feel like, um, I mean, you got two knights, you have two pages, you got the king, the queen, and the emperor. There's a lot, that's a lot of authority in this relationship. A lot of court cards, which again says to me that there's some sort of power struggle. Somebody feels like they don't have enough power in this. And instead of, say, for instance, communicating that, they're acting it out and acting out. Universe has your back oracle cards. Let me go ahead and read out these signs again if I didn't do it. We have Aquarius here with the star card. We got Virgo and Gemini with the magician. 
Capricorn here with the devil. The fool is Aquarius. The emperor is Aries. And judgment is Aries and Scorpio. So you got a lot of Martian energy on the table, which is, again, that power and control and authority. And again, I just feel like um, for you, Leo, or your person, they're wanting a balance of power here because they don't feel like there is a balance of power. And I'm going to tell you guys something in a relationship, balance, balance of power shouldn't mean shit. You know what I mean? Like in relating, I mean, power shouldn't mean shit, but that's just my personal opinion. My fearless freedom lights up the world. Yeah, that, that kind of makes sense to me. My fearless freedom lights up the world because somebody could feel like they're being oppressed or again, they're the one who is having to follow the rules instead of being able to make them. You know, they could be looking for a little bit more freedom. They could want a little bit more of a voice in this situation. And again, they're acting out because they feel like they don't have a voice. Yeah, which is hella immature, but I understand it. It is what it is. Step out of your comfort zone. Yeah, buddy. These are my Moonology cards. I just bought them. Step out of your comfort zone. So that just says to me, my, one of my one of very favorite sayings is, if you want something different, you got to do something different. Life doesn't live in your comfort zone. What is the saying I have here on my wall? Um, unconditional love does not need... Uh, Oh, a recipient. I'm trying to figure out what the hell I wrote. Unconditional love doesn't need a recipient. As in, just give love freely. If this is a power struggle, y'all don't need to be in a relationship. Start a business, right? Do something else. If it's a relationship, fuck the power. Love each other unconditionally, freely, openly, fervently, you know, passionately. Just all of the positives, right? Leave the power struggle behind. All right, Leo, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Thank you so much for stopping by. If it resonates, don't forget to like and subscribe. Love you. Bye.